Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm making this video to explain the deal between Mamelodi Sundowns and Rock Nation. So, as you might have read in the news, uh, on the 3rd of August this year, which was about three weeks ago, I think, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns announced that they were entering into a partnership with Rock Nation Sports. Uh, for those who may not know, uh, Rock Nation Sports is a company owned by Jay-Z, the rapper Jay-Z, the Blueprint, the Black Album, uh, Kingdom Come, you know, Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce's husband. <laughs> so Rock Nation is a company which uh, mainly supports athletes in elevating their careers. For example, uh, Rock Nation helps players or athletes acquire things like endorsement deals, or they help they help them in carrying out charity courses, community outreach programs. So in a nutshell, Rock Nation Sports helps these guys grow their brands, basically. Uh, there are some very famous people who are signed to Rock Nation Sports. Uh, Chelsea striker, Romelu Lukaku, Manchester City midfielder, Kevin De Bruyne, the Springboks captain, Sia Colise, and many others. These are like the, the kind of profile athlete that Rock Nation has uh, in their uh, like in their uh, in their list of athletes, you know. So the fact that Mamelodi Sundowns is going to collaborate with Rock Nation is kind of a big deal. This is because on one hand, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns is one of the most successful clubs of the modern era in South Africa, and on the other hand. Rock Nation is one of the world's leading entertainment and sports agencies. So these are two very big brands uh, uh, trying to collaborate. But when the news came out about the deal, not many details were revealed about it. Not much was said about what the actual deal is all about. For example, how will Mamelodi Sundowns benefit from all this? So I'm making this video to try and explain some of the details. So let's start. Well, according to Tlopi Mutsepe, who just got appointed as the new chairman of Mamlodi Sundowns, the deal is anchored on seven core deliverables. So there are seven aspects of the, of the deal, which uh, the way it's structured, it's, it's structured on seven core deliverables, which... Uh, Sundowns is expected to benefit from. So the first, uh, the first, the first deliverable is brand amplification. Well, this speaks for itself. Uh, Rock Nation will make sure that the Sundowns brand continues to grow and continues to attract positive attention from the general public. So they're going to amplify the Mamelodi Sundowns brand. And the second deliverable is social media strategy and execution. I'm guessing this will involve administration of all Sundown social media accounts, such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and probably their website too. This will be more of an improved uh, engagement with fans or supporters on the internet. You know, these days when teams announce players, they will like create a short video, like a short cinematic video where they introduce the player and it's all dramatic. So I'm guessing uh, Rock Nation Sports is going to do something like that for Sundowns through their Twitter, Facebook and Instagram accounts. For example, you know, like when they announced that Tian Mabunda is going to be the club's brand amb ambassador, they created this nice video, like a short mini interview with Tian where they engage him and try to expose more information about what what uh, what this means for him and the club. So in terms of social media strategy and execution, they'll be doing more of, of those kind of um, projects. One team which is very good at this is Cape Town City. Like if you go to Cape Town City's Twitter account, you'll see how clean, how like the quality of the content that they put up there I guess I know they're trying to reach that same level of, of um, execution. The, the third core deliverable is commercial sales. Basically, Rock Nation will make sure that Sundowns sells things or merchandise or anything that Sundowns needs to sell. 
Rock Nation will make sure that they sell it and they make huge profits. So, uh, like, will it? This will be like when Sundowns is selling their replica jerseys, training kits, and stuff like that. You know, I'm not sure if uh, match tickets will be a part of 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 of, of this deliverable, but. Commercial sales, I'm guessing when you go to the online store and you're trying to buy something, uh, Rock Nation is going to be involved in, in all of that, in you purchasing any item that's, that's sold by Mamelodi Sundowns, basically. And then the fourth deliverable is football consultation regarding transfers. Uh, we know that Sundowns is one of the few teams in the PSL which uh, successfully signs players from other countries, besides African countries, you know, uh, for example, you have Sirino, Nascimento, and then you had Ali Shoot back then, and many more of these uh, kind of players who are from other countries that are not uh, African. So I'm guessing Rock Nation will ensure that Sundowns gets very good and at signing players uh, locally and internationally as well. So there'll be like rock nation will be very involved in how sundowns procures or signs players you know they'll introduce them probably to the global market so i wouldn't be surprised when i start seeing like uh sundown signing more players from all these other countries besides all like the south american countries you find that they'll be signing players from england for example india i'm just giving examples you know so rock nation will elevate them to that global market where uh, they are they gain access to to all these quality players because Sundowns can afford many players that are that are willing to 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 relocate to South Africa. And then the fifth uh, deliverable is fan engagement. You know this one sounds like it's similar to social media and social media strategy and execution. But fan engagement, I'm guessing like. Uh, it'll be more directed towards the fans, like the, 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 the support base. It's no secret that Sundowns has one of the fastest growing base of uh, supporters in South Africa. Like it has actually become cool to support Mamelodi Sundowns because they win trophies and they play beautiful football. So in this deliverable, Rock Nation will engage all Sundown supporters' branches in terms of keeping their fans happy and engaged in club activities. Like, I wonder if this will include arranging for fans to travel when they play in away games or in other countries when they play the CAF. I'm guessing it was through this de deliverable where Sundowns will, will make sure that their fans uh, go to all the games. If they're playing outside the country, they make those arrangements and, and ensure that the fans are engaged in, in club activities. Uh, this will probably include ensuring that the structure, uh, this, the, the, the fan base is structured, like with your local branches and how that accumulates to, to, to the level where uh, fans can, can engage in a more structured way with, with the management of the club, basically. And then the sixth deliverable is community initiatives. I think the Mutsepa Foundation is already doing this. We know they were involved in the Global Citizen Concert, which was uh, hosted in Joburg was it two or three years ago. Uh, so I think they'll have something similar to, 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 to that, where they organized events and, and festivals. And, and try to, 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 to bring the club to, to communities, you know, through, through these kind of, of, of events. And then the last core deliverable is hospitality support. Uh, from my own understanding, yeah, I would say that uh, this could be Rock Nation uh, arranging for hotels and accommodation when the team is playing away games. So basically the administration of... of, of uh, of the team and the players when they have to to play away games, you know, hospitality in terms of hotels and 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 ensuring that they're comfortable and they are well prepared for for games and uh, especially if they're playing CAF, you know, we've heard stories about them encountering like hostile 
environments when they play in in in, in outside South Africa, like if they play in Angola, Congo, you know these kind of places. So I'm guessing in this core, they'll ensure that that comfort is not lost and the players only focus on on the football itself more than anything. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, this is my own interpretation of of these seven deliverables. You know, I, I try to break them down and see if they make sense in, in the way I explain them. So you can, like in the comments, just tell me what you think I may be off and what you think of, of, of the whole thing. Thank you, guys.